Well, Hospice Health is set to break ground on their new grief counseling center a little bit later this week. The fully equipped center will provide a place for those needing support and connection while healing. Joining me now is Tawanda Owsley, uh, Chief Development and Marketing Officer for Hospice. And Tawanda, good to see you the Monday after Derby. Good morning. Good to here. see you, Claudia. Thanks and for having me. Thank you so much for coming in because yeah. this is such an important issue. We've worked with you on uh, a number of shows before, yes. uh, and it's just always so timely. And this is timely again, this Absolutely. groundbreaking. It's going to serve a really big need in this community. Yeah, absolutely. We are so excited to announce that on Wednesday we will be breaking ground on a new grief counseling center at our property at Ephraim McDowell. Um, we know that our community collectively has been grieving for a long time and most recently um, with the tragic incidents that, have that our community has suffered from, we think that um, opening up this center is the timing couldn't be better. And what's the exact location of the center? So it's on Ephraim McDowell, it's off Dutchman's Lane. Okay, so it's our yeah. old corporate office. Yeah. It's right adjacent to um, the Jewish Community Center, so right down the street from the Jewish Community Center. And who all can can use this facility, and what, what types of services will you offer? Well, our grief counseling services have primarily been for our patients and families that have received services from us. So those may be relatives that have lost um, loved ones during, um, over, during dealing with a serious illness. However, we will be able to offer some community-based support at this center as well. And their need is so great. Don't you see that so much more and more? Yes. I just feel like looking cumulatively at the past three years. Right. And then big holidays coming up that, that focus around family. It's just a really... Um, it's a hard time. It really is. I think we've all been collectively grieving for the last three years, and we want to provide a space for people to grieve in a healthy manner. We want them to be able to handle their emotions and give, the, um, give them um, tools to be equipped to handle those emotions. You all offer so much as it is, yes. right? At what point did you all look around and go, you know what? We, th there's a lack of this and we need to provide this. So hospice has been around for 45 years and I guess and after the first two years we realized that bereavement care and grief counseling needed to be a part of the service that we deliver to our community. So oftentimes it starts with spousal support when someone loses um, a loved one or we may even provide sibling support when someone loses a child or um, a loved one or even um, for the children that have lost their parents, we provide that support. I think the community has needed us lately and we partnered with many community resources to provide community support um, when we've dealt with such tragic events in our own community. So um, we have experienced social workers, experienced grief counselors and experienced chaplains that focus on death and dying and grief. Um, so we think we are the experts in being able to provide this service for our community. Mm -hmm. Will you be looking for more counselors to place in that? Is there, there an opportunity for those that know that they can help others to, Absolutely. to get jobs in the future? We hope that people will feel called to serve and called to serve with us. Um, we have open positions now, um, so we're always looking for new social workers and new counselors to provide help. Mm -hmm. we, we talked a little bit about just what the, even the last couple of weeks have been like, yes, Tawanda. Yeah, I mean, have you ever seen a time where there's so much going on and, and are you getting more of a re response and reach out right now? I think we recognize that our community is suffering and I think people are more open to having the conversations about how they feel um, and their own social and emotional needs. Um, last year we opened up a new community resource center in the YMCA at Republic Bank. We saw a need there so now we're also expanding that service with this new resource center. We've always provided grief support. Now we just have a better space to provide that grief support and we've expanded it. So we'll have 7,000 square feet um, on that property at Ephraim McDowell. Um, we, we're just thrilled to be able to break ground on this space. And should be open what, by the fall? We hope by the end of the fall yeah. we'll be open. Um, we'll to continue to provide services as uh, we lead up to that construction. Um, we still have our old building and the new building is adjacent to the old building. So uh, we'll be providing uh, support groups and grief counseling support leading up. We also have a couple of summer camps that kids can come to oh, nice. as well to get grief support. Where can people go to find more information on the camps and then if, if they're in need and they, they want to reach out? So hospicehealth.org is the best place to go to provide, um, to get resources and find ways to help. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia, Have for having me. Have a wonderful week and good luck on Wednesday. Thank you so much. You've got great weather oh, coming good. out. <laughs> <laughs>